think I'm live. If you can hear me, please let me know in the um, in the chat. I'm gonna try to get these things started here. Got to share the link, stuff like that. So hold on one second. gonna be doing a little a little tutorial I was gonna do this through twitch but uh, I was having trouble logging in using Streamlab, so we're gonna do it through YouTube for today till I hear back from twitch uh, technical staff Trying to get where I can share the uh, share the stream. Uh, let's see. My source image is ready and yep. Yeah, I know a lot of people think they can't do uh, graphics and stuff like that because they don't have Photoshop, but that's not the case. There's a lot of free options out there, open source options are out there. Yes, Photoshop is good, the only thing available. And for today's uh, stream, I'm going to be showing you how to do ring aprons and ring mats using free software. I usually use Affinity Photo. And I have, I have uh, Photoshop as well because some things Photoshop does do better. Alright, let's see. I'm going to be doing two examples. I had a request to do a certain logo to show them. So I'm going to be doing this logo. So we're just going to go. Well, y'all can't see the logo yet, but I'll show you in just a second. Again, I'm still trying to figure out how to share the link. Uh, like, I'm sorry, but we will get this. And next time I do the live stream, 
it should be a little easier. I did a live stream last night on Twitch. I think did pretty good. Going through how to create, how I create like uh, parts, custom parts. And I went through a process. I created a pair of trunks. And we did some tattoos. And I'm, I'm thinking about getting back on tonight and doing another stream to finish up the attire. If not tonight, it'd be tomorrow night. All right. Things are very slow right now, but it's okay. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're having a great um, Mother's Day weekend. It's a little chilly here. But yeah. Thought I would kick off a stream. Alright, here we go. About to be done sharing the link. I'm hoping everything shows up clear. And I usually don't do a lot of live streaming unless it's just gaming from the PlayStation 4 because of the fact of my uh, my connection. Okay, if everybody can hear me, if you're in here, let me know, please. Ten minutes in and really ain't got started. Okay. All right, we're going to... We're going to start this here. All right. The editor I'm using is called Pixlr. You go to pixlr.com. And we're going to go down here and we're just going to do advanced Pixlr, Pixlr E. And we'll let that load. So basically for this, uh, this stream, 
I had a request to turn this logo into a ring mat and an apron. So we're going to go through that first. And then I will take you to one like take it say this logo here and turning it into a ring a uh, ring mat and apron for the game. There's a little more advanced stuff to do with this one. Well, not really advanced. You need to remove the background stuff like that. All right, let's see if the editor. I want to do this video too because pixel is completely free. All right, we're going to, let's see, create new. Now, before you do it, you need to know some sizes, okay? Let's open this up here. Your ring mat, if you're gonna create a ring mat, it needs to be 1,024 pixels by 1,024 pixels. So let's start with that. 1,024 by 1,024. Let's name it ring mat. And let's go to create. Okay. So now let's take this in. We got our here, no background. You can, uh, if you're going to do a ring mat, you can add your own background. I personally use the background, leave the background transparent. So, all you're seeing is the logo. So let's take this logo. I'm gonna right click on it, copy. You can use a logo that you've already had on your computer, or you could create one. And let's see, we're gonna go to paste. All right, now it's here, okay. We need to resize it a little bit. I think it needs to be a little better, a little, Resizing needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's try this. Make sure it's uh, up here it's on fixed. And then click from the corner, drag, and there I think that's big enough. And did you see when I drag it here in the center, you know, you see those pink lines? Those are called guides. So you want to try to get it where it's in the you see two. That means the logo is perfectly centered. Okay. Now, there's several ways if you want to rotate this, how you want your mat to look. If you want the logo to be looking straight on at you when you're playing the game, you want to rotate this about 45 degrees. If you want the logo to be pointed or from the entrance way, you rotate it 90 degrees. I personally like it to be at 45 degrees myself. But for this tutorial, we're going to do it so it's looking at like the entrance. So we're going to come here. We're going to rotate. I'm going to guess about 45. It's hard to tell with this uh, application, but we're going to say that's about 45 degrees. Okay, now that this is simple. Pretty much we are done with the ring mat. This is uh, somebody needed help with this, so this is what I'm doing for this example. We took the logo, we resized it. We rotate it. That's 45 degrees. So let's say we want to make it 90. Let's keep going around. I would say that's 90. And now that's center. Now, go up here to file. Save. And let's name this SWF Ring Mat, and we will do transparent. You name it what you want to. Make sure it says ping. 
and make sure image width and image height is set to what we created earlier and then you click download and it says here the photo will be downloaded in three seconds to wherever you have your computer set to download stuff to you that's 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 simple okay now let's turn that logo into an apron okay as you can see here it downloaded so let's close this out let's go to file new image we're going now we need to find out the size for an apron see I wrote it down here aprons have to be 1024 pixels by 128 pixels so let's go here height needs to be 128 keep width the same let's name this apron let's create again we have the background off now okay let's take this logo again copy I'm right clicking and I'm copying if you have it on your computer you would have to uh, open image and stuff like that okay so we're gonna go edit paste now it's a little bigger than the apron itself so again we're gonna resize we're gonna make sure it says fixed that's center now the person that wanted an example done he wanted this logo repeated three times on the apron so let's see some applications you'll use like Photoshop and others have a um, keystroke or shortcut key that you can hit and let you copy the object over this one I don't think has it but that's okay we could do it without it you see here this is a these are this is your layers palette we have one layer it's nothing on it that's the background layer so let's see and then you have let's turn it back on if it's checked it's visible the top one that's our logo if we uncheck it it disappears check it it appears okay so this layer means it's by itself so let's copy that let's see if we can copy yes i wrote i right clicked on here and down here it says duplicate layer so let's go let's duplicate it once we got a copy so let's try to move it you see i'm holding shift this time it seems to do a little better and we're gonna say let's put it right there now let's duplicate it one more time again I right clicked duplicate layer I'm, I'm holding shift down while I'm dragging and let's see You just gotta try to try to eye it to get it get it even the way you want. Okay, and that's it. That's the apron that he wanted created, and it's it's here. Three logos on the apron. Transparent background. So let's take it. Let's go to file. Save. Let's go to SWF apron I'm going to name it transparent all right make sure everything's set 1024 width 128 height set as a ping download it now when you have these images down that's when you take them to the fpw.net site and you upload them through there and that's that's pretty much simple by just reading the instructions you can figure that out all right let's go on to something a little harder let me close out these let's go to create new and we're going to do ring map first so 
1024 by 1024 ring mat let's create now we're going to do this logo so we're going to again copy image right click copy image I'm going to go up here to edit paste let's resize it and let's try to get it centered there now you notice how you have a black background I want to get rid of that background so let's see what all tools they have that can might help us they have the wand select tool that usually works pretty well especially when your background color is a uh, high contrast compared to your foreground colors so let's just try it I click it now let's click the black let's see what happens okay I think it selected all the black so do they have I don't know if they have layer mask in this program but we're gonna see let's see add mask so I went to layer layer add mask okay that got rid of everything that's not what I really wanted but that's okay this is a learning experience so let's see what they let's see if I can't figure out how their mask work okay let's go to select invert select All right, there it's not working the way I want it. So we're going to go to edit, undo, edit, undo. We're going to undo until we get back the image. Okay, we have the image back where we want it. So I don't really understand how the mask works in this program. So instead, we will take, let's find the eraser. I usually don't like using erasers, but we'll, for here we'll do it. And then we're going to go around. See, look at that. If you notice, mainly all black, the background's being deleted when I erase. It's being erased. So let's jump up the uh, size of this eraser. Let's turn the softness down. All right, let's go in here and let's just get rid of this. I'm already seeing areas that the wine didn't select. But that's okay. We could take care of that. All right, we got most of it done. So let's go to select, deselect. Let's go back to the wand. All right, let's click where we're, there's leftover black. Let's take our eraser. Uh oh. See what happened there? It selected more than just the black. It selected white too. So let's go to edit. Undo. Select. Deselect. Select. Deselect. Alright. So we're going to have to get a little hands on here. But it's again it's okay just take your time we're gonna take our eraser well first I zoomed up I zoomed in as close as I could we're gonna take our eraser all right let's see if this program is gonna act right this program is running straight from a browser window they have uh, versions of it on for tablets and phones Android and I think uh, Apple as well All right, I don't know why let's try this again 
let me zoom out let's do fit let's take the eraser again oh it popped up there there we go let's take the size down because we're going to be zooming in let's try about two pixels let's increase the softness a little bit now let's go in zoom in so we can see that black there all right click our uh, eraser and let's go in and slowly erase we could even try using the magic wand since we're zoomed in and let's see if it's gonna okay it selected it better so that's even better so let's just go and let's okay yeah it's got a slight delay to the brush size let's let's increase the size and let's erase there we go let's deselect let's use it let's pan over a little bit we're going to take the wand select click that spot click the eraser I'm not sure if it's doing anything so let's go to select yeah it did in a little bit so we need to zoom in it just didn't select all the black but that's okay oh wrong tool let's do the eraser let's take the size to about all right we'll see if eight's gonna be too big i think eight will be fine there we go let's zoom over here we have some white i mean some black areas here select our wand there it selected it all let's go back to the eraser and let's just erase all the black out now you could go in here and you can remove all instances of the black it depends if you're going to have it as transparent or I mean if you're going to have a white ring mat then you might want to uh, remove the black if you don't want it to see through you know it's just all preference for me I don't like the black in there okay here's some more so let's select it and then eraser and we're gonna erase it let's repeat the process select it erase it and again it didn't pick up all of it there so we're just gonna come in here tap all right now let's go i think we got a few more spots maybe not let me in, let me zoom out we've got a here let's see if we can't get rid of it well we really don't have to okay so yeah we don't have to do that so basically all we did was remove the black we removed the logo from the black background now let's go through the same thing we did last time to turn it into a uh, ring mat I'm gonna make it a little bigger and for this time I'm gonna leave it I want it facing me when I'm in the, when I'm playing the game so I'm going to rotate it about 45 degrees. I would say that's about right. Let's, let's center it till we see both pink lines or guides. Boom. 
that should be centered and it's 45 degrees angles roughly we can go to file save it name it what you want to download it I'm not going to do that because I have no need for this in my game but that shows you just how we can do it alright so now I'm going to take this click it we're going to rotate it back to where it was about like that and I'm going to see if I can go to edit or let's see okay it won't let you copy over this okay in Photoshop I could right click this or I could click and drag it to a new document I don't think you could do it with this one but that's okay all we gotta do is just go to file new image or if I was thinking I could just go to let's see if I, I could save this as a ping import it that way you ain't gotta recut it out but anyway yeah we take this and then we're gonna apply it to the uh, apron size so let's go apron uh, let's see what the size was again one uh, 1024 by 128 this app here it has some premium features that I think that you can buy I've never really looked into it because when I need something quick and easy I could just come here and do it for free so let's go create the apron let's go over here and see if I can't trying to see if I could uh, edit hmm maybe I could use do this let's, we're going to use the square selection tool select it go to copy come over here and ring mat go to edit paste there we go now let's see if Yep, that's how you do it. It's a little workaround. All right, I need to rescale this down. I need to go a little, a little smaller. Whoops. That perfect. There is our apron with a logo on it. But let's say I want to get a little fancy. I want to add a little something else. So let's see what tools do they have. Let's add some shapes. I want to add some lines going down the uh, side. So let's see. I don't know. Maybe that's a premium feature. So that's okay. We don't need that. Let's see. What can I do? Let's see. Where can I do the lines at? Uh... I'm just trying to look. So I don't use this program a lot. All right. Okay. Okay, I can't figure that out. So for now, we're just I'm just going to use a brush. And I will take it and we're going to go, let's click a new layer because I don't want to uh, mess up the logo idea. Let's go to empty. All right. And then we're going to change the brush. I want zero softness, zero step. Let's make it square. I'm using white and I'm going to start here. I'm going to hold shift click up oh, that did not work right let's go to edit undo all right let's click hold shift 
I'm trying to get it working on a straight line. Undoubtedly, they do not have that uh, that shortcut. Okay, here we go. Now the tool's working. So I went to shapes. I'm going to line. Let's do this. All right. Now if we hold shift, it makes that line. Look at that. Boom. So we're going to bring it about right here. I don't like how thin that line is. So let's, uh, let's go to edit. Undo. I set the stroke to about 11. So let's try it again. Boom. I like that. And then I could come over here, or instead of having to redraw it, I'm just gonna duplicate the layer. Click the arrow here, and we're gonna move it. Try to keep it. We want it where it's even. And it's very, it's being very stubborn. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete this layer do it again because it was being stubborn. So right click that layer, delete. Let's duplicate it again. I'm gonna hold shift. And you see, I don't know why it's doing that. It is wanting to sink down. So I'm just gonna use my arrow tools to nudge it up. And now I'm nudging it to the right, the left. All righty. Uh oh, I nudged it too much, so. Let's see, we're going to keep nudging it back. And I'm just using my arrow key to the left. And you see, that's the way you can add a stripe or a line or something like that. You can even go in here and add text to it because they have text. And that's basically where you could create some simple aprons if you just want the logo and you want it to turn it into a ring mat. An apron that's all you got to do there's templates provided uh, out there especially on the discord where you can do the turnbuckle pads and all that you can't open those templates I don't believe in this an app like this you would need something like maybe paint.net it's the newest version MS paint it has layer support anything with layers is going to be very helpful because you can add a new layer to add another detail on. A new layer, another detail. That way you ain't got to worry about it. If you make a mistake, you can just delete a layer. So it's nothing's really permanent. I hope this recording and this stream came out okay. I hope you learned something. If it didn't come out right, I would redo it again. But the main thing is don't worry if you don't have Photoshop. This is free. Uh, Photopea is free. You have uh, Paint.net from Microsoft. It's free for Windows systems. Don't worry about it. Use a free program. It's, it's perfect for simple things like this. I don't know if you'd be able to say create a uh, face from scratch using it. You might could. I haven't really tried. But yeah, use this. Photoshop is good and all, but it's not the best. And if you if you don't want to use a free software and you want to use something like Photoshop, but don't want to spend that much 